don't know why I just agreed to go to Hawaii. What's up, guys? I'm Q, and I love getting tattoos. Last time you saw me, I was getting a $2,500 tattoo in Thailand, but this time, I wanted to up the ante. So I'm gonna to talk to my friend Mary Mlumpini, the witch doctor, about getting some color onto dark skin. And getting color on dark skin is not easy, and getting tattoos for dark skin is not easy at all. I've been to several tattoo places who've not wanted to do cover-ups just because of dark skin. And to have somebody like Miriam to work with is gonna be a blessing. So now it's time to get enough FaceTime call with Miriam and see about getting color tattoos onto dark skin. Miriam, it is amazing to finally meet you. Hi, so happy to talk to you finally. Yeah, um, so as you know, like I was directed to come to you because I've heard you're the perfect person to put color onto dark skin. Like, why are you that go-to person? Yes, well, I am specialized in color tattoos. My style is very vibrant, very bold. I use a lot of contrast in my artwork, so therefore it shows up very well on dark skin. That's amazing. So like, tell me about some of the people that you already tattooed. Like, how did you get to this level? People like Eric Sprillitz, Timmy Aiko, Javon McKee, Ray Lee, Rick Brown. I've tattooed a lot of people. So like, can you talk to me a little more about the uh, tattoo you did for Rob Stone? Yes! So he's from Lemon Grove, so we did lemons on his neck. And I tried to put the contrast with that, that yeah, a little bit show up really bright. As of right now, I don't have any inspiration of like anything colorful that I want to get on my body. So I'm going to Hawaii this weekend, and I was supposed to only take like a few contracts there, so I had some open spots. So maybe you can come there, we can find some inspiration together in Hawaii and create some art. Oh. Oh, sh Like, wait, when are you leaving? Let's do it. We're leaving tonight. Come with us. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah? yeah. Let's do Let's it. Do Let's it. do it. Come with it. You know, we're, we're, we're all one love. You know what I'm saying? Let's all right, I'll see you there then. All right. All right. See you <laughs> Oh my God, I don't know why I just agreed to go to Hawaii. Yo, they about to be pissed. My manager's about to be pissed, for real. So I rush home, I pack my bags, and try to get to the airport for this last minute trip to Hawaii. It was about a five hour trip from Los Angeles to Hawaii, so I had a lot of time in the air to mentally prepare myself for the adventure I had ahead, and it was gonna be a lot going on. So the minute I got to Hawaii, Miriam, Jason, and the team from Tattoolicious picked me up from the airport so we can head to our first stop to find inspiration for the tattoo. The uh, owner from Tattoolicious decided to bring us out here to this beautiful beach. Uh, <laughs> it's nobody out here. Like, look for as far as you can look. Nobody. Nobody. Like, this is amazing. So we're gonna get some real inspiration out here. Nothing is stopping me. <laughs> no stop. Inspiration. This beach was the perfect spot to come to for inspiration. The clear light blue water, ivory rich sand, and the different shades of green we saw in the turtle were all colors that would pop on dark skin. Honestly, there couldn't have been a more ideal starting spot for us. How can you channel all of that energy into this tattoo? Because the turtle, the turtle, the <laughs> So after a long but super inspirational day one, we decided to crash for the night because we knew that we had a lot ahead of us for day two. We decided to check out a popular hiking trail in Oahu where we find more green inspiration and definitely more wildlife. The only issue we had was that we did zero research before we came to this trail and that was the first mistake of many. <laughs> at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. We had these huge water bottles in our hand and it was stopping us from going down like the first little hill. So Miriam's like, yo, just drop them. Horrible mistake. Okay, so I'm looking for inspiration mm -hmm. for Quentin's tattoo today. And I figured we're gonna see fruits and plants that I never seen before or drew or tattooed before. But look what we got here. It looks like an apple. 
but it's not. You know, what the hell is What it? can it be? Natural inspiration. So it's the three of us newbies just walking on this amazing trail. We got Miriam here pointing out the stay on the stream sign that we took very literally. Uh, we literally stayed on the stream the entire time. That was probably our second mistake. The horrible idea, like it was horrible, so. <laughs> But it was so fun, like we were hyping over trees, climbing under trees, it just felt like we were really out here. I felt like I was on the National Geographic. So I was out here feeling real when I nature, I'm like dipping my hand in the water and shit. Like, I'm like, Jason, come here, man, I got this dope shot. I want, I want you to walk and I'm gonna I'm come from behind a tree and it's gonna be so cool. And it was super cool and everything was going super smooth until it wasn't. And Miriam Whoa. fell so hard. Miriam, run us, run us through what happened. Okay, so the sign said follow the stream. So we follow the stream. I slipped on the stream and broke my nail in the middle and it hurts. And now we're trying to figure out if there actually will be a waterfall here or if we're just lost. Mm -hmm. Helicopter! <laughs> As always. Yeah. Hello! Help! I see where we can probably walk up. Let's get to it then. Mom, if you're seeing this, I love you. I can't be. If we don't make it out. Okay. Okay. It's a trail. Yes! Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> Almost made it. <laughs> but not quite. All right, we finally got some reception. You trying to look up. Raw, you need to know doing? before you go to the trip. It says the hike takes around four to five hours and is on some places difficult to go, but it's a wonderful journey with great views, nice waterfalls, and really good exercise. Wow. Take plenty of water with you. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend the hike without it. <laughs> <laughs> Who idea was it to leave the water, man? Mine. Congratulations, you played yourself. So at this point, we're about two to two and a half hours into this hike, and we've officially made it back to the original trail. It was a great now. Sorry to see it go so soon. Oh. R.I.P. So the remainder of the hike was tough, but we stuck it through, made some new friends along the way, and finally got the reward we were looking for. All right, so after all of that, getting lost, we finally made it. We did it. I've never been so happy to see a piece of water before in my life. But we did it, man. It was good. Now we got to hop in here. I was just saying, look at it, but it was a hot, long walk. We got to hop in. So we did it. We saw so many vibrant colors, we knew it worked for the tattoo, and we were truly inspired, but unfortunately, there was more bad news to come. So even though we made it to the waterfall, we accomplished our goal, we fought through all the adversity of getting lost, Miriam getting hurt. Unfortunately, Miriam had to cancel all the rest of our appointments, so the plan was to just leave Hawaii and head back to LA, and we'll finish the tattoo there. All right, so we're back in LA. Um, I just got to Miriam's spot. It's been a couple days since we've seen each other. They actually stayed in Hawaii for a little bit longer than I did. Oh, let's do it. Hi, welcome. Yo, I'm excited for this tattoo. Yes, so we just got new floors yeah. and I'm about to start painting uh, murals all over the wall. Okay, we're well, just the perfect time, man. About to cook. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do this consultation? Yes, come with me outside here. All right, let's do it. You got a beautiful space. Thank you. It's my private oasis. So Miriam, like, what do you think we should do? I think we should do a turtle with a jungle flower. Sean, what you think? Turtle? Turtle! <laughs> That's two people. I'm gonna hop on a turtle. It was amazing to finally see Miriam in action. For the last few days, I only knew her as a friend, not as a talented tattoo artist. But once we got into the tattoo, it was easy to see why she's so successful and why all these celebrities trust her with their tattoos. It was honestly astonishing to see the vibrant colors going into my dark skin. And it reminded me of the amazing ups and downs we had in Hawaii. It reminded me of the people who said it wasn't possible. And most importantly, it reminded me that there's no limits to the things that you can do in life, especially the things that you can imagine for yourself. And all we needed was a vision to make it happen, some colorful inspiration, and a mindset to look at dark skin as a canvas rather than an obstacle. We experienced so many cool things to get inspiration for this tattoo, and to see it finally all be executed is such an exciting moment for me. Yo, so I just finished surgery with the witch doctor. I have this beautiful color onto my arm. 
I know y'all thought it was impossible, but like, So I'm really happy that the tattoo came out so well and Miriam was able to put this color onto dark skin, but I'm also really excited about future episodes and different ways that we're gonna be able to push boundaries with getting tattoos.